Are you struggling to get your website or content to rank higher in search engine results? Did you know that using primary keywords throughout your website or content can greatly increase your chances of showing up in search results for those keywords? Just imagine having a steady stream of targeted traffic to your website or content leading to more leads, conversions and ultimately revenue. And in this video, you are going to learn how to use primary keywords to boost your search engine optimization and drive more traffic to your website or content. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's answer the question, what are primary keywords? Primary keywords are the main keywords that people use to search for a particular topic or piece of information. They are the most relevant and specific terms related to the topic and are often more popular or in demand than other variations or synonyms. These keywords are the ones that you will focus on optimizing for with a dedicated page on your website and it will form the content. The goal is to have this optimized page rank high in search engine result pages for the primary keyword. So it's really important when you do a keyword research to choose primary keywords carefully and you should be only targeting keywords that are related to your niche, industry and our business. Additionally, primary keywords are not only head keywords or body keywords, but any keywords that can be targeted with a web page, including head, body and long tail keywords. Primary keywords are not those keywords that you cannot target because search engines show different primary keywords. All right, now when you understand what are primary keywords. So now let's have a look at how to identify primary keywords. Identifying the primary keyword is a key step in keyword analysis in order to find the main version of the keyword with the highest organic traffic potential that you should target with your web page. Like this, you always ensure you are targeting the right SEO keyword and minimize any keyword cannibalization mistakes and can ensure you can optimize your content and on-page SEO properly to attract the highest amount of traffic, which can lead to higher conversions and more success for your business and maximize your SEO efforts. With that being said, here's the step-by-step -step process on how to identify primary keywords. The first step is to analyze your keyword in SERPs to ensure that the keyword in fact is a primary keyword because in many situations, you can find a keyword that cannot be targeted because it's just a different variant of another primary keyword. So to find out whether your target keyword is the main primary keyword or only a synonym variant of another primary keyword, you need to analyze the SERPs. So let me give you a few examples. The first keyword example is SEO strategies. To analyze the keyword in SERPs, I will be using the SEO tool SE Ranking, so I can analyze the keyword without any personalization and select my target country. Then I will go to the organic results report to see what pages and keywords are actually ranking for this keyword. Here I will want to look at the titles and the URL of the ranking pages to see what primary keyword they target, so I can see whether the primary keyword matches the analyzed keyword SEO strategies. However, in this example, I can see that my analyzed keyword doesn't match the SERPs and that the primary keywords here are SEO strategy and the second primary keyword is SEO techniques. This means that the keyword SEO strategies is not primary and to rank for the keyword, I will have to target the other primary keywords such as SEO techniques and SEO strategy and use the keyword SEO strategies as a secondary keyword for these articles. Therefore, I will not waste my time on this keyword and know the other two keywords in my keyword list to analyze them later. All right, the second keyword example is landscaping designs for backyard. So let's again check the SERPs for this keyword using SE ranking keyword research tool. Again, I select my target location. Based on this, I can clearly see that my keyword is not primary keyword, but only a different variant for the primary keyword backyard landscaping ideas or backyard ideas. However, later on, I will want to compare the keyword search volume for my keyword landscaping designs for backyard with the keyword backyard landscaping ideas to find out which variety has higher search demand. By the way, if you are into a landscaping business, check out my guide for SEO landscaping or even if you are in any local business, this guide will help you to optimize your local SEO and get more leads. All right. And the third keyword example is how to stop a nosebleed. So again, let's run this bar boy in the keyword research tool in the SERP analysis to find out if it is a primary keyword or just a different variant. Based on this, I can see different variants of this keyword appears here, such as 
ways or tips to stop nosebleed or how to stop nosebleed or only nosebleed. So here are a lot of variants that I could target and I wouldn't be probably wrong with either one as I can see. So I would analyze which of the keyword variants has the highest search volume and select that one. So let's actually move to the second step to find out which of the keywords are the primary keywords. Of course, I did not select obvious keywords for these examples as that would lose the point of teaching you, right? I mean, after learning this, you will be able to clearly recognize any primary keywords. The second step is to find highest search volume variant of your SEO keywords you have just found. According to HREF study, your page can rank for hundreds of keywords, which are mostly different variants of your primary target keyword. And as you can see from the first step, there are many different variants, some that we will come back to further analyze. With that, let me give you a few examples. The first keyword example is how to manage backlinks. The first keyword I want to analyze is not from the previous step, and it is related to my recent search when I found the keyword how to manage backlinks as a potential primary keyword and how I analyzed it to find out whether it is a primary or just another keyword variant. So coming back to step one, I analyzed the keyword with the SERP analysis. They showed me that the main variant for this keyword is not how to manage backlinks, but it is backlink management. So now the step two, I will analyze the keyword backlink management with SE ranking keyword suggestions report to see if there are any other similar keywords with higher search volume. Based on this, I can see the keyword backlink management is the highest search volume variant. But now I want to also have a look at the top three ranking pages for this keyword and check their ranking keywords just to double check whether there are any other keyword variant with higher search volume. For example, I only selected the first one and I would skip the second one because it's their homepage and not a blog post, which makes it irrelevant to me. So here I can see that the keyword links management has a high search volume. However, I would not personally select this keyword and I would stick with the keyword backlink management just because it is more accurate term. Whereas link management is a broader term and I would have to talk about backlinks and internal links management as there are two types of backlinks. Therefore, for me personally, backlink management is the primary keyword that I will be targeting. So as you can see, sometimes you will need experience and knowledge within the industry to make the right choices for your primary keywords. The second keyword example is backyard landscaping ideas. Coming back to the example from the step one where I found my keyword landscaping ideas for backyard is not the primary keyword, but the main variant is backyard landscaping ideas. So now to further analyze it, I will check the keyword suggestion report to find the highest search volume keyword variant. Based on this, I can see that the keywords backyard landscape ideas and landscaping ideas for backyard are having higher search volume. But by looking at the search volume trend, I can see that the keyword backyard landscaping ideas has better potential. Plus it has lower keyword difficulty. Comparing to the higher search volume keywords where the search volume trend is downward and has higher keyword difficulty. Therefore, I would stick with the keyword backyard landscaping ideas as my primary keyword here. I could also further analyze the top ranking pages, but in this case, it is pretty clear that this keyword is the main primary keyword just because there are so many similar keywords that appear in the keyword suggestion report and also in the SERPs. And the last keyword example is how to stop nosebleed. So with the last example, I want to come back to the third example in the step one. When I look at the keyword suggestion report, I can see that this keyword is by far the most lucrative in terms of search demand. However, as you could see, a lot of different types of keywords appear in the SERPs for this keyword. Therefore, I will look at the ranking keywords of the top three ranking pages and select the one that will have the highest search potential. And just by looking at the ranking keywords of the first page, I can see that the best primary keyword variant and the most lucrative is actually only nosebleed. The reason for that is that this keyword is broader and can target secondary keywords such as how to stop nosebleed, cause of nosebleed and others within the content which altogether have massive search demand. And from SERP's analysis I could already see that just targeting the primary keyword nosebleed can rank for these other variants as well. So it's really the best keyword I can target. On top of that Google already said that they prefer one big comprehensive piece of content to a lot of small ones, just like in this example. With that being said, 
Identifying the right primary keyword can be challenging and it comes with the experience and knowledge of the industry. Certainly, it's not an easy task, but it's probably the most important together with keyword mapping for your SEO success. By the way, if you are a medical specialist, then I recommend you to check out my local SEO guide for doctors. Or even if you are not and your specialty is somewhere else, I still recommend you to check out my guide as it helps you to improve your local SEO. And now, let's explain what are the differences between primary keywords versus secondary keywords. As said, Primary keywords are the main terms that you will want to optimize your page for and want it to rank for in the search engine result pages or SERPs. They are the main keyword variant with the highest organic traffic potential, whereas secondary keywords are additional related terms to the one particular primary keyword you are currently optimizing for. Secondary keywords have to rank for more related terms increase organic traffic potential and improve the content semantics so Google can better understand what's the page about and improve the ranking for the page. Secondary keywords are helping you provide more details to your content and cover it in more depth to ensure you are providing the right information to users searching for the related primary keyword. Just like I have shown you with the example number three, how to stop nosebleed. This keyword is a secondary keyword to the primary keyword nosebleed. However, what many don't realize, just because the keyword is secondary for one piece of content, it doesn't mean that the secondary keyword cannot become a primary keyword. In many cases, secondary keywords can actually become primary keywords in another piece of content. For example, the primary keyword on page SEO can have secondary keywords such as title tag, meta description or keywords which are closely related to it. But then I can take these secondary keywords and target them as a primary keywords as they are related to my overall niche. This is how you created extended topic clusters and built a strong semantic SEO foundation for your website. By targeting all related topics within your niche, mainly going deep and covering all the topics related to one part of your niche, you build a strong topical relevance for your website. And this can help you build topical authority, which means ranking in the top search results for your related keywords in your niche, which overall will improve your website EEAT score. And that's all from me. Now, when you understand what primary keywords are and how to identify them, your next step is to learn the best practices of primary keywords. And for that, you can watch my video right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment as it took, to as it took me a lot of time to do this video. Ciao!